So over a month ago, I've built this beautiful hydroponic system. It's called Semiramis. It's done based on the guide from Parallel Garden. And guys, I've absolutely loved it. I look at it every day and I'm really in love. I will show you what I grow in there. Come with me. So let's take it from the top. I have some spinach here, broccoli, coriander. I have those beautiful salads here. They are close to be harvested. Basil and some tomatoes. Measure 90 centimeters from the edge of the pipe. And we are going to measure the center of holes. The first one is at 16 centimeters. The second one is at 30. 45. 60 and the last one at 74. the center of inlet hole. It's nine centimeters from the edge. And we're gonna release the channel, flip it over, measure the center of the valve, nine centimeters from the edge, and nine centimeters from the other side for the outlet hole. Make sure you're going to cover the holes with a paper tape, uh, otherwise you're going to put the spray color inside. It's supposed to be very clean inside because your water with the nutrients is going to flow through there. We are going to prepare the fittings for the outlet hole and for uh, valve. For the outlet hole you're gonna need one inch bulkhead fitting with four flat driver seal rings. You're going to need this pipe connector. We're gonna actually cut it in half and we're gonna use the, the bigger part. This will serve to regulate the water level inside the growing channel. You're gonna need this 30 centimeters uh, piece of hose, one inch hose fitting and wave seal ring. Then for the valve, you're going to need half inch bulkhead fitting with a flat top and again four pieces of flat rubber seal rings. Then you're going to need the teflon tape, valve and half inch hose fitting. And for the first growing channel, because we're going to need to bring the water with nutrients up to the first growing channel, so you're going to need this special quick hose fitting for the half inch hose.
we are going to measure the lead stripes, we need to cut 10 pieces of 65 centimeters. We're gonna measure 65 centimeters of the aluminium bar. the LED stripes into the electrical source. We're gonna need five pieces together. The first one is two and a half meters, 2.2, 1.9, and two pieces of 1.6 meters. You can see the 5-pin and 3-pin Vego connector. Uh, we are going to prepare both of them for plus and minus. So we take the minus from source, we plug it in here in the first one. Then we are going to use 3 pins for 3 of these minus cables. Then the last pin we are going to use to interconnect it with the next one, with the 3-pin and the last two pins we are going to use for these two cables. Why are we doing it? It's because we do not have a six pin Vego connector, so we need to interconnect these two. So we moved from the workshop uh, where we finalized this box. I didn't want to fix the system on the wall, so it's gonna be actually hanging here and I can move it around as I wish. And now we are going to finalize the installation of Seminamis. easy to grow plants in this system. You only need two things. Nutrient-rich solution that flows inside the system and the lights that are on for 12 to 14 hours per day to simulate the sunlight. Based on the experience, I would like to leave you with three tips. First one is build it with somebody. You're gonna need a lot of different skills. You're going to need help when cutting the pipes and brushing them off. So make it a project for two people. Tip number two. Make sure the rubber ceiling is super tight, otherwise there are, the water is going to flow out of that. And tip number three is think about the lights. It's gonna be part of your home and you're gonna be comfortable and happy looking at it. I bought the daylight and I can ensure you that the plants are growing perfectly under it. <laughs> 